Hey Libra, this is Michael with another monthly reading for you. We are looking at May 2022. Now this month is very massive. We have a lunar eclipse in the sign of Scorpio. We have Mercury going retrograde. And perhaps most interestingly for you, we have Jupiter entering your opposite sign Aries on the 10th, which is the same day that Mercury goes retrograde. So kind of an interesting energy right there. We'll unpack all of that and more in just a moment. I already have all of your cards here on the table as well. Uh, I just want to take a moment to thank all of you who have supported this channel with your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. It's with all of your support that I'm able to continue putting out these videos and doing this incredible work, and an extra special thank you to all of my patrons supporting me on Patreon. I am uploading things like exclusive live streams and uh, weekly updates as well as astrology notes, so if any of that sounds interesting to you and you want to support the channel, definitely consider checking me out on Patreon. Patreon as well. All of my links are in the description box below. I am also running a sale on my website, so if you're interested in a personal reading or Reiki session with me, all of that is 15% off using the code Eclipse until May 16th. Um, so if you've wanted to get a reading, now is a great time to snag that. Anyways, Libra, I, I really am eager to break into your reading here, and I actually have a very specific message for you. Um, we have the Four of Pentacles showing up in the reverse, and this is showing up for the past. And it's kind of interesting, to me, th the first thing that really comes in is your relationship with money may not have been stable in the past, or your relationship to resources. And if this isn't talking about money, this could be talking about emotional resources, this could be talking about other resources, um, where you are investing your energy, specifically and maybe not being very discerning with certain things. I, I do feel like you've actually learned some discernment with the page of coins here or the page of pentacles. Uh, this is showing up as advice and, and lessons that you have been learning that you can now reliably use for the future. So this page of coins really does make me feel like you've worked to get into a more stable place, um, especially if it's felt like you've just been hemorrhaging resources or money. Maybe this is even, even something you could have helped. Maybe there's just been unexpected expenses, or maybe things have just been very challenging. And I'm going to tell you, Libra, this makes a lot of sense because we are experiencing the full moon eclipse in Scorpio the 16th of this month, and that falls into your second house of finance, of money, of resources. So this eclipse really is, um, you know, making a big change or big shift for you financially, potentially. Um, and I, I think it's also interesting to think with all this Taurus energy we are in, we are in Taurus season, um, we also did just have a new moon eclipse in Taurus on April 30th. There may have been something with investments or thinking about long-term investments, thinking about resources in a, a bigger picture sort of way. And sometimes there are things with debts, with taxes, with, with um, any sort of, I guess, karma or, or thing that you owe. There's been some sort of new cycle here for you as well. And so maybe that is something that is um, kind of coming up this month. And the really specific message I am getting for you, Libra, this isn't going to apply to all of you because this is a general reading. I feel like a lot of you have been focusing on manifesting money. Uh, we had the Four of Cups here with the Magician. And this was very interesting to me. This is kind of the central energy for this month. And I feel like there's something you are trying to manifest. It's either money or something you think that you need in order to get what you want. If it's not money, maybe this is like, uh, maybe this is like a specific space to work out of. Maybe you're trying to get a specific office space, or maybe you're trying to get um, like a specific car and you have your sights set on that. 
But if you actually wrote down what it is that you wanted out of that space or what it is you wanted out of a car, you might see that there's other alternatives. And that's something I'm getting here for you with the Magician and the Four of Cups because the Four of Cups, it's like there's something actually here. There's something that you are manifesting or wanting that's right in front of your face this month and something that you've really been trying to create for yourself or something you've really been trying to bring into your life is already here or will be here very shortly and you might not even notice it. And it kind of feels tied to um, Mercury going retrograde in Gemini. And that happens on the 10th. We will be in the pre-shadow phase all month though, or the first 10 days of the month, I should say. And it, it might be clouding your vision. It might be making it hard to see certain things. And it's also interesting to note really quickly, your ruling planet Venus is entering the sign of Aries. Now this is kind of, um, this is kind of a, a, a different tangential part of this reading, but there's a lot this month that is bringing new partnership or, or deepening of partnership or connections or relationships. And there could be a lot of healing or change that is happening there. I feel like if you've been manifesting a partnership, there is someone that is coming in that could be a Virgo or Gemini energy. We do also have some Leo energy with the sun, which we will talk about in the moment. Um, but those are kind of the signs that are popping out to me right now. Um, and maybe it's someone with a different sign, or maybe these are talking about seasons or, or times of the year. That might also be something to track as well, especially in these general readings. These energies are pretty mutable and fluid, so take them as they apply. Um, but yeah, with the Four of Cups and the Magician, it's like whatever you've been trying to create or manifest, it's actually here and you don't even necessarily recognize it. And the very specific message I got for you, Libra, as I was connecting to your energy, you don't need to manifest money. You can actually just manifest the things that you want and you will actually have a better time doing that because you are making money a barrier in your mind with the four of pentacles or the four of coins in reverse. There's something about you focusing on money or spending money and you can actually have certain feelings or experiences in a different way um, or in a way that is more accessible to you right now. You're making money be a barrier between you and the things that you want. But if you actually really boiled down those things and what you were hoping to feel or get, you would either see that those aren't the ways to get these sorts of feelings, especially if this has to do with recognition of some kind. Um, I don't know why I'm getting that, but that's coming through. Uh, or if you're trying to ha manifest certain experiences um, and maybe you feel like you need money to travel, I, I almost get the sense you could win something like a, a free ticket or, or win some sort of retreat or some sort of cruise. So kind of test your luck in that way, actually. Um, there might be something that happens for you there. Um... It's, it's a very interesting message. I, I don't really, I, I think it's the first time I've ever even gotten a message quite like this in these readings, but it's like, yeah, you're, you're making money a barrier. You're focusing too much on resources now, or you've been too focused on resources. And kind of interesting with the change or actually the challenge this month, we have the six of wands. I, I do actually want to clarify this energy. Um, wow, that came out very quickly. Six of Wands clarified with the Nine of Wands. I, I feel like there's something with your energy just feeling pretty depleted this month. Um, or, or maybe feeling like... It, it's actually funny because it's like you won. You won something with the Six of Wands. You are getting what you want, but you're very worn out. You're very wary. It's like there's a victory, but it, it came with a price or it hurt you in some way. Um, let me clarify this a little more. The Empress. So you are getting a lot of beautiful energy here. This is Venus energy. And... Um,
it's like you you feel like something is a loss or it, it didn't quite come to you in the way that you thought there's something with your perspective here because if you actually looked at your life you'd realize how abundant you are and how powerful of a manifester you are I do feel like some of you are recovering from something, whether that's an injury or illness. Could also be heartache. And the Empress is interesting because it, it represents, on some level it can represent healing actually, but it, it usually represents a, a readiness or willingness to love. It's about being abundant, it's about being creative. There is a time of fertility here, um, which can be symbolic or literal for some of you, but I'm getting more of this as a symbolic message. There's just this fertile new ground for you. You're able to create new things. You're able to manifest new things. And I kind of get the sense some of you, um, you're not trying to manifest things that are actually meant for you or aligned for you. They're not things that serve you, really. And I feel like you'll kind of know if this is your message, it'll just sort of resonate. You might not want to admit it, but there's kind of part of you that's like, yeah, I've been trying to manifest something for a while and it hasn't come to me. And, and I've kind of had this feeling that, you know, maybe this isn't meant for me and maybe I'm supposed to be happy doing something else or with something else or with someone else, something like that. Um, here's the beautiful thing though. We do have the sun at the end of the spread here and this actually makes me think of a few things i'm feeling like um with venus entering into taurus towards the end of this month i believe that's on the 28th um let me actually just double check that i have my notes right in front of me yeah we have venus entering Taurus on the 28th. This is a beautiful energy because Venus, your ruling planet, also rules over the sign of Taurus. And so there is this beautiful grace that this planet has that you also feel. And this is specifically lighting up the part of your chart again that represents investments. It also represents um, releasing karma and releasing old patterns, releasing things that aren't serving you. There's a lot of release this month, actually, with this Scorpio eclipse. Um, and there's just so much healing. There's so much life. And this feels like kind of following up the Empress. There's this moment in the sun. There's this glory that you are basking in. There's just this beautiful, joyful, alive energy that you are feeling by the end of this month. And... I think it comes when you recognize just how much you have and then how much you are manifesting and, and seeing how your magic is working for you. Um, I, I feel like some of you have just felt very disconnected from magic or manifestation for some time and you've still been, been manifesting things and they're still coming. They're, they're still coming into your life. Um, we do also have a new moon in Gemini at the end of this month as well. And I think this is actually a good perspective shift for you, interestingly. Gemini is obviously a fellow air sign, or for those of you who don't know, it's a fellow air sign, and this rules over your ninth house, or the part of your chart that pertains to travel, and higher education, and wisdom, and spirituality, as well as astrology. Pretty much anything in life that broadens your horizons. It makes you see the world um, in a, a bigger way. Uh, this is kind of something that is lighting up for you, and I feel like this is bringing you a lot of healing. And there is some beautiful energy um, with Mars forming a conjunction in Aries at the end of the month as well. And this is in the sign of Aries, your opposite sign. There, there could be something with a new relationship here that's very healthy. And there's this new beginning here. And I think some of you might not be seeing it at first. And it kind of feels like if you're focused on one person right now, or your attention is towards one person, 
I almost get the sense this comes from a, a, a kind of an unexpected place. Temperance. Yeah, there is something with a relationship here. Uh, something very harmonious. Finding a balance. Something about divine timing here as well. Um, there's a very healthy relationship, actually, that's coming in to focus by the end of the month, I feel. Or there's just something that is very healthy and, and giving you a lot of vital life force by the end of this month. Um, and interestingly, as I said that, I noticed on the timer it was 1515. Um, kind of repeating number sequences there, maybe repeating ones, repeating fives, maybe it's one five one five, five one five one, something like that. Um, ones are new beginnings and fives are change. Uh, so maybe there's something going on there for you. But yeah, I, I, I feel like there's something very healing and something very healthy. And I feel like the way you were sort of existing before wasn't sustainable. And now by the end of May, your life is a lot more sustainable and there's a lot more flow. And we have the moon in reverse as well. You're getting um, a handle on emotions. If you've been depressed or anxious or going through a really hard time emotionally, you know, the sun with the moon in reverse, kind of interesting because that is sort of eclipse imagery to me in a way. Um, but this really represents emotions kind of clearing and, and getting a lot of clarity. I, I think the new moon in Gemini is giving you a, a tremendous amount of clarity, and I believe Mercury will be going direct in the first week of June. Um, I don't actually have that written down in my notes right now, so you may want to double check that, but I feel like with the new moon in Gemini over the, the two weeks after that, so the first two weeks of June, it feels like there's a lot more clarity coming in. Um, and I, I feel like that is helping you be less affected or thrown by your emotions. Is there anything else here? I feel like I need to pull more cards. Queen of Coins. Yeah, there's a lot of stability. Um, there's a lot of long-term energy. It's like you're not living for the moment anymore. You're living for something bigger than that. Because when I think of the Queen of Pentacles or the Queen of Coins... She's the one who's making sure that everyone's getting fed, that everything's getting done. And again, this very fertile energy with the rabbit and the flowers. Very creative. Um, you're coming into a much more stable time. I'm also getting another message. Let me just clarify this. Uh, yeah, oh, wow. Oh my God. This is literally what I was seeing. I saw the magician and I saw the four of cups. And what I was thinking was there is someone trying to give you something. And because of the source it's coming from, or maybe it's not a person, maybe it's a situation, you don't want to take it. And then I confirmed this with the six of coins, which is about charity. It's often about gifts. Sometimes it's a give and take, uh, but it's like someone wants to give you something and you don't necessarily want to take it from that person or get it from that situation, but it's actually the thing that you've been manifesting and wanting. And so there, there's sort of that resistance, which is kind of funny. Don't let your pride get in your way either. I, I don't know why I need feel like I need to tell you that, but I, I feel like I do. Um... If someone has a gift for you or something that they want to help you with in some way, I would actually say just be open to receive this month. And what else do we have? I, I actually feel like that was the last message, message with the tarot. I think I'm going to pull... Um, I want to pull... 
Where did I put it? I'm going to pull an animal card for you. What are the animal messages we have for Libra? Interesting. So we have the oyster. And it kind of does feel like that being walled off energy. I, I sometimes get that with the four of pentacles here and needing to lower your guard, lower your walls. Finding the beauty inside of yourself is something I'm seeing too, like with the pearl imagery, valuing yourself and seeing what you can potentially offer to another person. Maybe the six of coins is for some of you giving of yourself in some way to another person and, and needing to open yourself, needing to open that exchange with the, the world around you, with the universe at large, really. What else do we have? Let me see here. Is there any other animal message, any other animal wisdom that we have? Beaver. Ooh, this is a beautiful card. It feels like there's two here. We have the beaver. And... This card is very much about the long term, <laughs> which is something we talked a bit about too for your reading. Um, you know, committing to something for the long term, uh, whether this is a relationship, a job, a home. I, I don't even think it's one thing in particular, Libra. I feel like you're just having a very clear sense of what it is that you really want to get out of your life. What it is it that you really want to leave behind, which is interesting, um, and and maybe even things that you don't usually think about, but I, I feel like this eclipse and Mercury retrograde, it's really having you think about things in sort of a, a, a different or philosophical way. And I feel like there's even this question of like, what am I going to give to other people? What am I offering the world? How can I do the thing that my soul really wants to do? Um, I, I do feel like though, again, this has many meanings because the, the beaver card also feels like there's this domestic quality. There could be something with relationships, something with home, something with marriage, something with um, career, anything that is a long-term commitment in general. I feel like you have this resolve towards something um, and, and there's actually a lot of life force in that commitment. And it's like you're committing to yourself in that way, too. You're committing to your spirit. Um, and it, it does feel like you're coming into a very different energy. And honestly, it feels more stable. It feels better overall quality to me. Um, so that's actually really, really exciting. And we do have two water cards here with oyster and beaver. These are both water elemental animals with the spirit, or with the symbol for water at the top here. Um, I kind of feel like that's it, Libra. I, I'm not really getting any more messages for you. I just have this sense of done now. I, I hope that this was helpful. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. If you'd like to check out one of the other videos, maybe this video didn't quite resonate, or maybe there's another message in another video for you, maybe your moon or rising sign, you are welcome to check those out. There will be a playlist shortly at the end of this video here. And again, all of my links are in the description box down below. If you are looking for a reading or Reiki session, I do have the sale running from or until the 16th. Uh, so great time to snag that while you can, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a happy, healthy, and safe May. Take care, Libra.